Hello guys, uh, today uh, continue our course about embedded systems. We're going to learn how to make your computer prepare to compile and debug uh, code for the SM STM32F4. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Now we're going to the, to the board to teach a little bit on what you're going to learn. And uh, let's go. So guys, uh, in the first video, we, uh, I teach that only the web uh, the web IDE was enough to develop for the uh, for the embed system, but this is actually not entirely true because actually we cannot debug. Okay, simply the uh, the web IDE is not able to debug the software that you create for a nuclear board. Okay, so what you're going to learn today is how to prepare your computer to be able to program and debug offline your nuclear board. Okay. So, uh, this is a, just a simple diagram that explains a little bit how your computer is connected to the nuclear board, okay? So, uh, as we saw, the nuclear board has only one USB connector, okay? And through this, this USB connector, we can actually have the serial port, uh, you have the interface to program and to debug, okay? Uh, in order to debug, uh, the nuclear board, we need a guy called Open OCD that is going to be the bridge between our, uh, our ST-Link, which is the, the interface used to program and debug the nuclear board, and a GDB, which is a GNU debugger, okay, to communicate with your board. So basically, this guy here, the Open OCD, will create what we call a GDB server, okay, that is going to receive a command. Uh, from the GDB client that is in your computer, okay? So, in order to, uh, to prepare your PC, these are the tools that you need to install, okay? At least this is in the case of Windows. So, we need to install uh, the tool chain GCC ARM, uh, the, the program called Corp YouTube, and Open OCD, okay? The tool chain is just a, a set of programs that you use to program Com uh, compile, right, and uh, and debug, okay? Core YouTube will have, for instance, the some Unix uh, commands like make, rm, sh, and I'm going to explain this on, uh, with more detail on the lab. And open OCD, which is the guy, which is the bridge between your board with the STLink interface and the GDB, okay? So now I'm going to switch to the board and uh, Without further ado, let's start. Hi guys, so today on this lab, the objective is to compile, okay? This software here is the, by the way, is just the last blinking LED example that we saw in the last class, okay? And the idea is to compile locally in your machine, okay? Um, simply, we start by exporting, it, this, exporting the program, okay? We're going to choose, in this case, the GCC ARM embedded, what we're going to do is basically to prepare your computer to compile uh, to compile with this ARM embedded toolchain, okay? Toolchain basically means the uh, uh, means the compiler, the, the debugger, and all the tools that you need to create debug and, uh, and uh, test code in, uh, in a specific platform, okay? So, let's export. If we open here the this code, uh, the zip, sorry, it's quite simple. We have here a make file, and uh, probably your computer is not going to be ready to uh, to compile this code. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do? We are going to create to to export this into a folder, okay? Okay, so we exported to to any folder in your computer that you would like, okay? And uh, we just open a, a DOS window, and uh, basically this is the our, our exported project, okay? So the first thing that you need uh, in order to uh, to prepare your computer to compile. To this to to the code is to install the toolchain, okay? So uh, actually, I'm putting all these files here available 
in, in, as a link in Google Docs, okay? Uh, what we're going to do is basically uh, extract extract this file here, gcc arm non eab windows 6, uh, 6 4, x64, okay? And we're going to export into a folder in your computer, okay? After this is done, you we need to uh, uh, to put this uh, directory that you exported in your path, okay? In our case, is the is this guy here, okay? This is uh, is our two chain, and uh, what we want to do is to put this directory he directory here in our path, okay? So just Control C, and uh, I will open my my window. Okay, you come here. And we just add, sorry, in the end, these in our path, okay? So basically now, you, if you open a DOS window, you can call the for instance some some command like arm known okay next step we need to install uh, a tool called core utils which is basically is going to uh, to add some like uh, unix like commands in your in your windows machine okay let me just close here. We come back to the directory where we have all the zip files. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm going to put this available in the link of the video. Okay. So we just install this guy here. By the way, in my case, is already installed. Let's remove and install again. Okay, this by the way is the folder that uh, that is going to install. Done. Okay, and uh, let's go to this directory. And basically, these are the the commands, the actually the uh, the applications that you need. Is the make, rm, sh, and so on. So we copy this guy again. Okay, e and uh, our path should have already this guy there. Is this here? Okay. So basically, after this is done, we can go back to the directory that we were now. Project exported this guy here. Okay, and uh, if everything is okay, we can just type make, and this will force our um, our code to compile. Okay, so uh, at the end of all this, you see that we have now the nucleo bling led dot bin, which is the file that we download that we normally download when we compile uh, on the uh, on, on the web on the on the web GUI web IDE. Sorry. And the nuclear blink led dot elf, uh, elf sorry, is that the is what we're going to use as well to push through uh, through a program called OpenOCD that will help us to debug. Okay, so um, now what we need to install, we need to install a guy called OpenOCD. Uh, let's go back to this folder tools download. Basically, is this guy here? Okay, the the zip file is actually where 
OpenOCD here. Okay, so basically you just uh, you just extract this into your computer and uh, and create on your path environment the variable a link to this guy here. Okay, you just uh, do again Control C and you put there the OpenOCD. Let me just check. Maybe it's not there yet. Okay, so uh, I think that if I come here, you need to to close and create the window again. The the DOS command window. So let's try open OCD. So he's there. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do now is the is use the open OCD to basically push the program into the board. Okay. And uh, and then use a program co program called GDB that is going to interface with your with the OpenOCD session, and uh, from there we are you'll be able to debug your program. Okay, we're going to. By the way, we are learning how to do this uh, through the command line. But the next video we're going to show how to install Eclipse and uh, and configure Eclipse to do this automatically. Okay. So basically now. Uh, we're going to type this command here. By the way, I'm going to put the description on the video, and uh, let's just show what it is. So we're going to call OpenOCD, and you're going to point out to this script here, stlink v2, the uh, CFG, okay? And we're going to pass as well this uh, configuration here, sm32f4x.cfg. Then you're going to send this these commands to the to the OpenOCD. You need to reset halt, then flash write erase, and uh, and to write this ELF file here, ELF. Sorry, my accent. And then you you you're going to send as well the commands reset, run, and shut down. Okay. By the way, you should have already your board connected. Okay, so uh, let's wait. We have an error here right into this address this sometimes happens in in order to solve this we just uh, reconnect your board again okay, let's try again okay now it worked uh, and if you take a look you, you know your board should be blinking already okay so now what we're going to do we're going to ask open ocd again to start okay and uh, and now we're going to put like open OCD running in the background uh, creating uh, what we call a GDB server so uh, GDB will talk through with a, a GDB client will talk with a, uh, with a GDB server which is actually open OCD and open OCD will communicate with stlink uh, during the debug, the debug process okay so uh, I'll just copy and paste the comments here Okay, so let's basically now we just put the scripts and we send no comments. Okay, so now we don't close this DOS window because uh, the, the the GDB server will be there. Okay, if we close it, then we, if you close this guy here, then we are not be able to use GDB. Okay, and we simply going to call a new window point to the same address okay now we just call arm non eabi gdb and uh, we point to your elf program okay then we're going to connect to our target Okay. Uh, we have already uh, a breakpoint. If you type list, okay, is going to be your uh, your main .cpp file, and uh, basically we can do a breakpoint wherever you want. For instance, if you want to do a breakpoint at line eight, okay, 
and uh, if you type count it is going to start the program and uh, and stop at the point that you mark your breakpoint okay so uh, if you do type next or n only it's going to okay yes going to be the next okay so uh, basically if you look to your board you supposed to see the the LED blinking okay by the way guys we going to learn how to do this through Eclipse I just uh, try to show doing this like through console just for you to understand what you need to install which is you need to install your toolchain which is composed by the compiler uh, the the assembly the NGDB which is the the guy that you use to debug and open OCD which is going to serve uh, as a bridge between GDB and ST-Link which is the the interface that you use to debug your, your board okay I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the next video we're going to learn how to do this now that we have the toolchain installed through Eclipse that will be like thousand times easier okay see you guys in the next cl uh, class and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed ciao ciao